Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I do a lot of military life videos and vlogs. If that is something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. Alright guys, so today I decided I wanted to sit down and talk to you and get real with you about military base housing. So, I've done videos about base housing before, but this one is a bit different. We did move into our current um, duty station about four months ago, so we've been here about four months, and there's been a lot of things that I've seen and I've heard of that I thought it is important to share with you guys. So, if you are a military spouse or you're just interested in the military life um, lifestyle, this video might interest you, so keep watching. All right guys, so we've been here in this space in this house at this base for about four months now and there's been a lot of things I've read and I've heard over you know the wife's groups on Facebook that I thought it might be interesting to share with you and inform and informative for you to know before moving on to a military base or becoming a military spouse all right sorry. so you probably read the title and you know it's about base housing okay so a lot of people assume that because you are living on a military base it is safe and you are going to have you know a peace of mind being at home by yourself when your spouse is away well that's not the truth okay guys it's not um, just this week I have seen several 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 posts on the military wives group page that I'm part of about break-ins about peeping toms about just weird vibes or um, seeing weird people walking walking around the neighborhood and um, having people rattle their doors at night, which is terrifying. It's terrifying for spouses, especially women who are at home by themselves alone with their children while their spouse is either on duty or away on deployment. The reason I wanted to do this video is to share with you guys that there are certain things there are certain things you can do. Oh, 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 the reason I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to share with you guys there are certain things you can do to ensure that you and your family are safe while your significant other is away. And I wanted to share with you some of the things that I read just this week alone on the wise page about um, things that are going on on base. And you know, you assume you are safe, but you're not. All right, so let's go ahead and just read some of these things off. I'm going to just read it to you because I don't have permission to share the actual post with you. Um, but I'm just going to summarize some of the things that they've said. So here is a, a post that was posted four hours ago, four hours from filming this. Like, seriously? It says, PMO is currently looking for two males running, one wearing white hood and the other black. If you see them, call PMO. Like guys, we are on a military base. Like how are these hoodlums, <laughs> hoodlums running around trying to break into, you know, houses that belong to service members? Like obviously these guys aren't aware that the houses they're breaking into are owned by service members that are Marines and are willing to do anything to protect their family. Like come on, seriously. This one I posted two days ago. It says, going off a post I saw earlier, last week my husband took the dog out and my dog ran to the fence and started barking. So my husband was looking to start, was looking on the ground to see what he was barking at. When he looked up, right, when he looked right up at someone standing on the other side of our fence, he ran inside to call PMO, but the guy ran off as soon as my husband saw him. I called PMO to report it and they came out and searched the area. And then they gave her the address, the street name, which I'm not going to say it on here. But it says, please lock your screen doors on the latch on your back doors. Like, guys, this is terrifying. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm going to go to another one. Um, this one was a day ago. It says, check your doors and windows. Make sure they are locked. Like, that's something we should all be doing, regardless if you live on base or off base. It's just common sense. And it says, just had a guy forcefully try, trying to break in like dead set going to multiple doors and windows even with our lights on and hearing us he was caught but while giving a statement another breaking call was made to someone else 
what is trying to someone else is trying as well stay safe okay some of these posts are not grammatically correct so apologize but yeah that is terrifying so while the police caught one man another break-in was happening at the same exact time so obviously there are multiple people on this base um, breaking it all right guys if you are living on a military base and you've experienced things like this please hit that like button because I really want to see how many other spouses are aware or have experienced um, break-ins because I think it's unacceptable because we do all we do have to come on with an ID and show that we belong to the military communities like who who's coming on honestly breaking into these houses like it's just mind-blowing to me is it the other military service members is it spouses is it um people that are sneaking on or being or are they accompanied on by military um members like i don't know like and i really want to to figure this out like how can we ensure that our community is safer um because i don't think it's, it's acceptable at all um yeah so that's just my thought about it so those are so those are some of the things that have been posted within the last two days um just on one of the military wives groups that i'm a part of now i'm part of several and I've seen several more posts similar to that or the exact same post, just letting people know and being aware of what's going on in your surroundings. So what are some of the things that we can do as spouses, as you know, even service members, and just um, as individuals to keep our family safe? So one thing I try to practice my best at is not letting others know that you are alone in your house without your spouse. Um, a lot of people will post on like the Facebook groups, like, hey, you know, I'm bored at home. Who wants to come and hang out? My spouse is away or he's on duty or he's deployed. I'm getting lonely. And then they'll put like their address. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Like you don't know who's creeping on these pages. Like I know it says military wife groups, but, and you know, the admins do the best they can to vet all those um, requests to join the group. But don't do it. Don't do it. Maybe, you know, if you find someone that you want to hang out with, PM them, DM them, whatever it's called. Don't leave your windows and doors unlocked, guys. Like, practice safety. When you get home, lock your doors. I know it's like, but why? I'm going to walk out in a few minutes. No, guys, just lock your doors. It's the safest thing. You don't know who's moving in. You know, people are constantly moving in and out of these houses. Um, and you just want to make sure that you are safe. So if you're home, lock your doors, make sure your screen door is locked, make sure your, you know, your main door is locked, keep your windows locked, our patio door, you know, lock your patio door, yes, it's a screen door, they can easily pull it open, but if it's locked, they're gonna have to make more noise to be able to get that open, so it'll give you enough time to be alerted that something is going on. Get a security camera. Um, those ring security cameras on your doorbell, those are awesome. I know a lot of people know what exactly what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I'm gonna post a picture up right here. Go ahead and get one of these cameras. You can find them on Amazon. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. You're simply installing, you know, uh, a great thing to keep your family safe. You're able to see who is coming in into your front yard. Um, it has that motion sensor, so that might be something you want to look into. A lot of these houses do have, at least my house does, has um, motion sensor lights. If anybody is walking up to our house, the lights will turn on because it is motion sensor. That is, that's a great thing. But I do want to mention, the backyards don't have that. So you might want to install some of those, which I'm going to be installing soon for my house because it's just way too dark in the backyard at night. Um, but what you can also do is just leave your back porch light on. Um, that just gives um, those people uh, not enough coverage if they're trying to sneak up into your backyard. So you might want to do that. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you like this kind of content, I hope you consider subscribing and coming back for my next video. Um, Halloween is right around the corner. I'm going to be sharing... Um, our Halloween days with you guys in a vlog style as well as um, our upcoming 
reunion uh, video with my husband. So make sure you click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified when our next video is posted. All right, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some information and I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.